You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. The Riverwood Trader is everything you... Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. but we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. <laughs> you found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister.
Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. It's almost getting downright hot now. They're reforming the dawn bomb. I'm no one special, just a miner who swings a pickaxe for his drinking money. Divine sake, Scald. Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wounds? We're not soldiers anymore. Your man Horik is wearing his old Legion armor. What should I make of that? He's proud of his service, Scald. The Legion taught us loyalty, and we're loyal to Dawnstar. This isn't over. I catch you sending one letter to General Tullius. I'll have you both executed. I wasn't born in Skyrim, but when I served in the Legion, this land became my home. My duty is to guard Brina Merilis. I've been in the Legion all my life. I'm content to serve. Horik and I have lived here ever since I retired. He's a good soldier. You come to Dawnstar at a bad time. Tempers are fiery. Not a single man or woman in Dawnstar has gotten a good night's rest in days. We keep having the same nightmare, over and over. If people aren't tired, they're angry. And if they aren't angry, they're afraid. It's made keeping order a mess. I hear Mara has sent one of her priests to the inn to try to calm people down. But I don't know how much words will do now. Stay out of trouble now. Keep at it. We need to work twice as hard now that that fat-headed Leg Elf has declared war. We're at war with Leg Elf? Isn't he your husband? No, he isn't. He's the enemy. And we are going to crush him. Drafted into a war. How could my life get worse?
The Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely, punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I, for one, am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake, I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth, and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the Hag's Cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth, wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Oh yes, mistress. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. The contracts I dole out are... The jobs Astrid gives you will be more important, and usually more complex. Just keep your wits about you. And for Sith's sake, don't get killed. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. <laughs> it's the part with the severed head I find most impressive. My compliments. What? You think me too old? Too feeble? There is more knowledge in me than a two of you pups put together. And knowledge... Knowledge is mine. Don't let my appearance throw you off. I'm older than you. A lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're ten will do that to a girl. What? Mother? <sighs> Is that your voice I hear? Go. Take care of the Muiri contract. 